All right, well, welcome back to the uh, Preacher Plays Poorly. And uh, just uh, thought I hit record, did not hit record. I ran up uh, out of the Dark Root Basin into the Dark Root Garden, and I was just planning on doing some peeking around. I killed a couple of those small shrub, uh, like this little small. Yeah. There we go. We're just going to kill him. Uh, a couple of these small shrub guys. Um, I should have come here really before I did. Um, I want that ring. Uh, I should have come here earlier before I did the. Um, I didn't realize that. Anyhow, uh, before I did the former area, it would have been nice to have had some of these free antidotes instead of having to buy them. Click. Okay, fire. We're going to start a fire here. It's a nice place to be. And uh, I'm not going to kindle it because I'm not human right now. And I don't want to become human because I'm going to die back in here. Now, um, I will try to do this area uh, more effectively, I think, later. Now, ordinarily, you'd go in there and you'd grab that glowy thing. It's some souls. And then there's three of those bushes there. And then every time you come through here, they're going to attack you. I'm just going to avoid that right now because I'm not interested in being attacked. So let's go in here. And we'll walk along this wall until we find Mr. Tree that I can kill. Hello, Mr. Tree. Die. Look, I got 180 souls for killing a tree. Um, let's see, down here, I have no idea how uh, this is going to work for the... Yeah, see, I I'm not getting quite the... Oh, green blossoms, those are nice for stamina. Anyhow, uh, I'm not getting quite the kill that I think I should be getting. So uh, what we're going to do... One more? Okay. Very good. Now, I know for a fact that just up here is a another one of those giants that I don't want to have to deal with. I'm going to have to learn how to deal with it. But I also know that way over here, around by an ambush with those goofy red frogs, is another soul item, and I want it. So... Let's just see how bad could it possibly be, right? Soul of a Proud Knight. Those are worth plenty of souls. There. Dead frogs everywhere. And really, I'm disappointed, but I didn't get any more green blossoms from them. Oh, wait. There's two. All right. Now, up this way, there's that stone giant, and he will wake up as soon as I go up the stairs, I think. Not 100% sure, but I have had him come up and bother me before. So let's just see. He's not moving. Okay. I know there's a giant up here, so let me take a drink of sauce. And he's going to wake up. You know what? If I grab the ring before he wakes up, then I really don't even care if he kills me. And, yeah, there we go. And he's dead. Now, I can affix the wolf ring. It'll boost my poise. Check this out by 40. It's like having armor on again. Okay. Okay. Now, what I could do, I could go up there and get the yellow or the butterfly. Mm. 
I really don't know. I suppose I could. Uh, right now I've only got 1,400, and there is an ember up there. So let's go ahead and make a U-turn, go around the corner, and get that ember. If I rest here, well, it doesn't really matter, because I haven't killed any enemies that I'm going to have to worry about going around. I don't know if I'm going to go get the partisan or not. Um, partisan is a spear I've never used, but it's supposed to be a nice spear. <clears throat> Who knows? Maybe someday I'll do the partisan. Not right now. Follow the pathway here. These yellow lights are little light plants. Uh, over there is the armor uh, that's traditionally recognized as the armor for the game, as far as uh, uh, that which is on all the box art. And we'll go get the uh, partisan. It should be right in here. And I thought there was a tree over there. Partisan. Oh, did I get an acorn? Yeah, egg vermifuge. Looks like an acorn. There we go. Purple moss clump. Those are handy. I'll use it. Oh. I should summon Witch Beatrice for this. Well, tell you what, if and when I die, I will pop a couple humanity and come back and summon Witch Beatrice. But in the interim, I'm not going to do it. Yeah, there's only two of those enemies in the game. There should have been a lot more of them, I think. And since I'm not summoning, I really don't need to worry about these guys. I know I'm missing some soul items, but it's going to be all right. Um, I think, let's see what I've got here. I don't think that poison arrows are going to do anything for me, but maybe the feather arrows will. We'll see. Um, let's just see what happens when I get shot. It's awfully pretty. It's a pretty boss. Oh my goodness. Oh, wasn't so bad. Ranged. It's the only way to do this. Soul of the Moonlight, bu moonlight Butterfly. Uh, the good news is, in this playthrough, since I'm not making any boss weapons and I'm not planning on uh, doing any more of that, I can just pop these boss souls with impunity. And it just occurred to me that I've got <clears throat> Quaylag and Gargoyle souls that I can pop because I don't need them for anything else. So, you know, when it comes time, I'll do that. Hey, look. It's a watchtower basement key. I don't need it because I have a master key, but there's more. The Divine Ember. Now, the Divine Ember is going to come extremely handy. I think I'm going to make the Rapier Divine. Now, see, the only problem is having limited myself to uh, the Rapier class is that the Rapier class in general isn't very good against the skeletons down in uh, the catacombs. But since I'm limiting, limiting myself to the Rapier class, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to turn this... Uh, the rapier that I picked up earlier into a divine rapier, which means I'm going to need some equipment 
or some materials. So we'll take care of that. And uh, poor Andre, uh, or poor Andre lookalike, I guess I should say. It's just kind of solidified here. Yeah. Okay. There's a nice sword there. I wish I could, wish I could get that. I can't. So uh, there's nothing else down in this region that I need at the moment. So let's go. Back to our bonfire. You know, it's almost too bad I couldn't have uh, another S-Doc from somewhere. Hmm. Yeah, but I can't. So I'm not going to worry about it. Let's go uh, kill a couple more of these tree guys on the way out of here. I remember the first playthrough. I think I killed so many of these ants. I don't know what else to call them. They're ants. Yeah, go die in a hole. Um, I killed so many of these ants. I don't know why I was failing on that, but I was. I was absolutely failing. Nothing I could do about it. Whoa. Well, I'm just going to leave him be. You don't really have to fight a lot of these enemies. Some of these you can just let go. And as long as they miss you, you can pretty much just keep on running. Now, entering here, uh, I'm going to see the first of those Titanite demons that I've had to deal with. I didn't think they'd follow me up here. Yeah, but they did. Blood red. You know, I've never used that to help prevent bleeding, but there you have it. Mr. Titanite Demon, there he is. I'm really not interested in spending any time with him, so let's just run past him. Yeah, hi. Remember me? You don't you don't you don't need to know me. I'm I'm not your buddy. And serpentine, serpentine, here we go. Hi, Andre. How you doing, buddy? My, that's a rare ember you have there. Yes, yes, it I've is. I've seen one of those before. It's the ember of a divine blacksmith. Yes. My, I can produce divine weapons with a... Divine weapons. We can produce godly weapons for that, yes. Yes, I'll give you the divine ember. Well, one of the things thanks. that's you interesting... One of the things that's interesting in this particular game um, is how it shows you... Yeah, no, I'm not going to step down with that, but uh, I am going to purchase uh, nine. I only need nine in order to upgrade. Oh, but you know what? I don't think I have it in my... Yes, I do. I left it in my inventory. Good. Well, let's um, turn that into rapier. Plus two. Plus five. Yeah. Four. There we go. That's gone. Let's, uh, oh man, I've got another large Titanite shirt. Now the question is, do I want to increase the damage of my bow? Because I'm going to be needing it at some point in time. I've got this long bow as well. Oh, temptation, temptation, temptation. Yeah. What's the requirements on that? It goes up to S scaling with dexterity. Is that the same thing? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's S scaling on dexterity. So I'm getting some nice damage with the short bow. But it's the shot range of 50. Wait. The shot range is no different? I thought for sure it was. Hmm. Unless I'm misunderstanding something completely, or maybe the shot range that I currently have is a result of being upgraded as the short, uh, short bow. I'm just going to leave the short bow. There's no reason for me to um, to do that. But uh, we are going to look for a divine rapier because why not? Which means I'm going to need. Yeah, you know what? We're gonna we're gonna upgrade that S stock because it's pretty beastly now. 150 damage and. Uh, Yeah, it does get C scaling index. The rapier, uh, D scaling index. So man, it's just not very good. But 
Um, at least I get divine damage now, and that's going to help to uh, put those skeletons to sleep for good when I finally go down there. And I'm not ready to do that just yet. Uh, so, let's see. Hmm. Is there anything else I need to do? I mean, I have some green titanite shards. I suppose I could... Perfect. Well, I mean, that's, that's really not too bad, at least. Uh, I think I can make some progress down in the catacombs. I'm not going to go there until, well, it's worth it. And I don't want to go down there, actually, until I can uh, warp out of there. So, yeah, I'm not going to worry about that just yet. Does that mean I'm ready to go into Sin's Fortress? I don't think it does, because I still wanted to get... Um... Go and get yourself yeah, I'm trying not to. I still wanted to get the... Um... The other ring. But now that we get an upgrade, maybe next time. I don't know. I'm not going to stop and rest at this bonfire. I'm actually going to go, let's see, up to the merchant. Yeah. So this is going to be a long run, so I'll have to speed it up for us real quick. And looky there. I can't light the bonfire because there's no firekeeper. Did you ring the second bell? That I did. is incredible, I must say. But now we have a new problem. It's noisy, it snores, and its breath is lethal. This is no laughing matter, I tell you. You know, you're a rotten dead guy, so I don't know if you have any room to talk about. Smelling. Maybe it's time I do so. Oh, is it time for this? Yeah, I'm gonna have to kill him. Um. Uh, maybe. Maybe it's time I do something about this, huh? How's your rat? You have some nerve. I may be crestfallen. But I'm not defenseless, you rascal! You will soon regret this! Oh, I do regret it. I'm so sorry. Now that's just embarrassing. How'd you let me do that to you? Well, because I play poorly. That's why.
not too shabby. Not too shabby. I think you've done me a favor. Yeah. I do too, because you were about to go completely hollow and you wouldn't have liked it. Race down here, and I'm going to get some poison arrows. I know I am going to need poison arrows when I get to Lordran, because that is actually how I plan on dealing with the Doofus brothers. Okay, so let me do this. Hm. Oh, look at all those nice, beautiful, juicy souls. Let's do some more. And... This is what happens. And last ones. For now. Oops. Hello. I yes, I have not forgotten you. about you. I don't need moss, but I would like to buy some. Ooh. Hmm. Nope. Yeah, I need some fire arrows, but I also need some standard arrows. Come again, if you please. Yeah, I do, please. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is pop another. Who should I pop? The uh, Moonlight Butterfly? Yeah, I think I'll do that. Yeah, 1,200. Uh, I can buy some. You know what? Just, just give me the, give me the goods, cause I need arrows. I don't want to have to buy any for a while. You know, I really don't know what the difference is, but now I got a bunch of arrows, and that's exactly what I'm aiming for. Aiming for? Yeah, I did that on purpose. Cool. Much obliged. I think I like you. Oh, yeah, I'm sure you like me a lot. Okay, um, I don't need to go to Ending Bird, because there's nothing down there that I need. We are going to head back to Sin's Fortress, so I will meet you back there. Here we go. There's the entrance to Sin's Fortress. I will uh, pick up again the next time, and uh, we're going to make some progress. At least that's my plan. Thanks for watching.